Hi, Chris Kuzmal here. In today's video, we're going to build a binary search tree for testing insertion. So we have some code that inserts a node into a binary search tree, or at least tells us where to insert a node into a binary search tree. But is the code correct? Here's something that will set up binary search tree that we can then test. So the code will first create a binary tree uh, and create and set, set that equal to the variable fl. And then we're going to create a new node who it, whose key value is four. And that's what this second line of code does. And finally, we'll set the root of the binary tree to be the variable whose name is four and whose key is four. So the variable overall looks like this. It has it's a node which has four as a key and a left child and right child, which are currently null or nil, depending on your choice of vocabulary. Now, that means that right now we just have a four at the top of our tree. Let's build up the rest of our tree looking at the code that would do so. If we set the left child to two, that's this, this variable here, this represents the left node of, of this. And the right node for, for, for a node, the, the root which has four, could be six. Six is larger than four, two is less than four. These are legitimate choices. And so we would need to also do four set right child six, four set left child two. That's what these two operations do and creating the situation we see here. I have left out arrows and all that. Just this is the root, this is the left child, this is the right child. Very simple representation here. Uh, now, if I set the left child of um, two, to one, one is less than two. And so that's appropriate. And if I set the right child of two to be three, then that's appropriate because three is more than two, but less than four. And similarly for six, if I set five, that's that's between four and six, and that's correct. And if I set my right child of six to be seven, then that's that's correct. And that's what these things do. The left child of six is five. The right child of six is seven. And now I've built up my binary search tree. Now, suppose that I wish to enter a node whose key value is eight. Where should it go? Well, if I look at node four, it can't be at node four, but it's going to be either to the left of node four or to the right of node four. Well, eight is larger than four, so we'll go down to here to six. Again, six larger or smaller. Six is smaller than eight, and therefore it would go to seven. Seven, the parent of the node that I enter will be this here seven because seven has no children. Seven's children are null or nil. And therefore, parent of the node that I would insert whose value is eight, that's the node whose value is seven, whose key value is seven. So that's the code that I would then I invoke find insertion node of eight on and I would expect that to be node seven. And if it is, if, the, if we have equality, then we'll increment our uh, test pass counter. And that is how we create our, that, that's, that's the code more or less that creates a search tree that we can test and the test code for it. So next time we'll look at the other test code and then run it and see whether or not we pass.